Uh, all right, what's up, everybody? Ice pick here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do uh, Destiny, oh, the official Destiny 2 beta review here. Uh, I guess uh, it's kind of funny. I just got done screwing up my first attempt at making this, uh, so hopefully I won't have to re-edit. So uh, the Destiny 2 beta ends later today, which is July 23rd at uh, midnight Eastern Standard Time. So that means it's going to end 9 uh, p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, not the exact same times that it started, but, you know, close enough. So, uh, starting off, uh, I've already gotten the chance to play as all three characters here in the beta uh, quite, um, uh, quite fully. Uh, ex and extensively and I've managed to unlock as much as I possibly can for each of my characters but I did save my good Titan because I happen to have all the weapons over on my Titan which I'm particularly proud of as you can see I'm wearing all the Tower Vanguard armor uh, for my Titan so starting off uh, I want to cover a couple of things that way it won't in interfere with the rest of our broadcast here uh, this evening so first let's start off by talking about the crucible uh, going into crucible actually well here let me load in my Titan here and so I can show you guys a little bit better so uh, also earlier today we took place in part of the one hour special event on the 23rd which was the farm it was featured right here in this space uh, is no longer there because it only took place for one hour I will up I've already uploaded that to YouTube uh, be advised there's a lot of swearing and a lot of laughing and having fun and BSing between me and my friends who went on there unfortunately there were some of our friends that did not get the chance to play the farm and never will till the game fully releases if they decide to uh, actually get the game uh, more on that later but uh, starting off uh, this option was not here for pre-order uh, that became available on the uh, 21st uh, so two days ago that finally showed up there uh, for uh, open access to the rest of the public. Uh, however, on the 19th, all you had was these three options uh, right here. So, uh, first off over here, you'll see uh, Crucible Quick Play. You just throw yourself in with a random bunch of people and you play Control. Now, this is actually... Uh, a uh, pretty fairly fun and simple way to play Control. Uh, Crucible is a lot more fun here in Destiny uh, 2 than it ever was. In Destiny 1, it feels more fun. It feels more inviting. It's definitely a more friendly and socially friendly uh, experience to play in. So, as you guys know, uh, new and old, uh, whether you're new or old player, uh, Zone Control is pretty much Capture the Flag. And the difference here is in Destiny 1, you had to neutralize a flag before you could capture it, which could take a bit of time, as well as, uh, you know, hoarding your entire team around a singular flag to try and get it to go faster. Here in Destiny 2, that's no longer the case. You don't have, there is no more flag neutralizations. You can just simply go from capturing to capturing. So that not only saves on time, uh, but on manpower as well. We also know that the flag capturing process is actually much faster than it was before. So now you can actually have your teammates at other points of the map coordinating with you to be uh, an even more efficient unit, whether you're uh, a group, uh, a clan, or just a random bunch of friends. It'll make it much easier to socialize with only needing one person on the flag, and again, without having to neutralize that flag first. So that's a lot of fun. And then we skip over to our other uh, Crucible game mode that we have here in uh, the Destiny 2 beta. Now, I want to remind everyone that uh, the Destiny 2 beta here is not actually a beta because a beta 
is a product of a finished uh, title of some kind. Uh, this beta is actually the E3 demo with patches in it. That's all that it is. None of the stuff you'll see here in today's video actually comes from the finished version of the game. In fact, uh... Information officially released by Bungie.net on July 20th, which was three days ago, co uh, officially confirmed that the build, that the beta that has been given to us was not only the E3 demo, but was based off a build that is months old, uh, way before uh, the full game was ever finished. So because of this, we officially know that this beta is not in, in any way a representation of what Destiny 2 is officially going to be like. The official game is actually going to be much better. Uh, and we'll talk about uh, that a little bit more as we go along. So now we go to competitive multiplayer here. This is the other playlist you get to play uh, here in the beta. Now, uh, every match that you play is a uh, two... Uh, uh, Holy crap, listen to me. Is a 4v4, where's my head at? Is a 4v4 PvP experience. Now, in this, you combine King of the Hill, uh, King of the Hill objective with Trials of Osiris. Uh, as you go in here, you may want to actually bring a fire team in this particular playlist, uh, unlike other playlists. That way, you can be a little bit more coordinated. Uh, with your team and be able to, you know, split up your group if you need to. You only get one life per round, uh, and the level uh, advantages are disabled in here. So that plays a big part of it uh, as well. This one's actually really fun if you've got the right people. However, there are a few glitches to talk about here. Um, for one, we know that both in... Uh, in uh, this uh, competitive multiplayer, as well as in quick play between zone control and this new game type, we know that supers don't charge fast enough uh, in an overall game. We also know that submachine guns do not pack enough of a punch to actually save your life. Uh, we know that fusion rifles pack a real big wallop, and I mean a real big wallop. You get nailed by one of them suckers, you're dead. No questions asked. You don't even have to be decent with the thing, and you're going to get hit. You're going to die. Uh, so that's another thing to take note of. Uh, but beyond that, Crucible is actually uh, very fun. There's not a lot of other glitches to say with it, aside from the difference between people's internet connections. But beyond that, uh, as far as the beta goes, all we have is quick play and competitive. Oh, my screen flash. You guys see that? That was weird. Uh, but that's all we have is zone control and this new one. And again, it's like King of the Hill objective meets Trials of Osiris. So it's actually uh, a lot of fun. Uh, and and if, if, you're, if you're a really competitive player, like if you're really good, like some of me and my team have been known to be, you know, you can get your super twice a match if you're getting a lot of kills. The only problem is, is this a good way to mercy rule the other team. Uh, so that's another thing to keep in mind. It is not usually a problem. And then in the center here, we have the inverted spire strike. I might do a separate broadcast of that later, or if you've already seen that, I'm going to try and show that off today as well. Uh... So, uh, and, and that's actually a whole lot of fun. Now, uh, here in the beta, as you can see, the rewards are the same as legendary gear. Uh, you'll get rewards, weapons, gear, and armor from each one of these playlists equally. And they'll all be based off of the same thing. So you're not going to get just Crucible-based stuff by playing Crucible. I've gotten Crucible armor by playing in the Inverted Spire, for example. Uh, and let me show you what I mean. Uh... This is my, uh, uh, what my friends call the, uh, badass armor. As you can see, uh, people have been, my, uh, Titan has been like the envy of the entire world <laughs> because of that. Uh, another, uh, couple of things to talk about while we're here in the menu before we get to, uh, the, uh, homecoming review. 
uh, as we continue to review the Destiny beta, or the E3 demo upgrade, as I call it now, a few things to recognize. One, there is a major, major slip-up in uh, this very old build of the E3 demo. We know that uh, progression is not a thing here. This we know. However, it is rumored that the light level can go up to 205. But here's the interesting thing. In the original vanilla Destiny, your max level was a power light uh, equivalent of 200 at level 20. However, your ghost down here specifically says requires level 18. And it says, for ghosts who call the last city home. Now, this is kind of unusual because it doesn't matter who you are. Everyone's ghost is going to have that requires level 18 on it. So, from what we've understood from uh, videos from IGN First, as well as insider information that I've got from my friends at Bungie that I've been helping out uh, for 15 years, uh, we assume, or... Uh, most of us assume that you start off as a level 20 in Destiny 2. Uh, with that in mind, for that to say level 18 is kind of a questionable thing, so we're not sure. And nobody knows what the level cap is going to be just yet in the uh, finished product, so that's another thing. All the other weapons and everything uh, all say level 20. I've gone through all the armors and everything. Uh, the only other glitch to talk about here in this screen is the subclasses are constantly being reset uh, every time you actually go and play. This actually saved this time around, which is rare. The other thing you can't change is you don't have any upgrade points to spend on this particular part of the screen right here. These are just some small bonuses to add towards your, uh, sup uh, your subclass ability or your super. Uh, for example... On the Sentinel, it is very pronounced and it makes a bigger difference than a lot of uh, anywhere else, really. And that is your second shield. You gain an additional shield throw charge while the Sentinel shield is active. That's actually fairly useful for uh, someone who wants to get to learn to know how to use the Sentinel Titan subclass. As far as playing with a Titan character goes, anyway. But, uh... Beyond that, there's not too many other glitches in place uh, anywhere else. Uh, there's at least three or four sets of armor for every character. We know that the weapons on each character are collectible, at the exception of the exotics. Uh, the Sweet Business uh, Auto Rifle is the Titan exclusive exotic that you start off with, and is not something you can get for any of the other characters. Um... Now, all these weapons come fully upgraded, so that's also not something uh, people have to worry about. Uh, uh, moving on to our secondary screen using uh, the down button on the D-pad on my Xbox One remote, we'll see that uh, all Titans are given a Meridian SV ship with a randomly generated uh, shader. This happens to be one of the rare ones that is sought after by uh, Twitter, uh, known as the Hake History Polish Shader. Uh, this one is from the Golden Age uh, before Destiny 1 uh, base shader uh, for the Hake series ships and uh, weapons. So that's actually pretty interesting. The thing that I don't care for is that it actually is the hunter symbol that's on the ship there, so that kind of makes me question what that's doing there. Because uh, the symbol for the Titan, as you guys can see, is the lion uh, rearing up and ready to fight. Uh, you only get one emblem and one emote uh, to start off with uh, for any character. And uh, you also want to make sure your resilience and your recovery are balanced out. It, mobility is not all that important unless you're trying to run the heck away like crazy. Oh, the only other thing to notice is your ghost color is a little off. Uh, here, it's kind of a white and golden rod like orange, which is absolutely beautiful. But here, it's white and red. Uh, looks more like a new monarchy-based uh, ghost than anything. But uh, that's okay. It, it still looks pretty. It still has the symbol for the uh, warlock, the titan, and the hunter. I probably got those wrong. Uh, I know that one's the Titan, though. Um, 
on the ghost shell. And as you can see, it's actually uh, fairly simple to just spin around, get a good look at those. Uh, also to note here in Destiny 2, you can have a lot more things and a lot more stuff. For example, you can have shell mods as well as up to 14 different shaders. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Up to 14 shaders for your ghost uh, at a time. So that'll be a lot better than carrying multiple ghosts at the same time. Uh, although I'm sure that's entirely possible. Uh, the same thing can be said with the ships. Now, this is pretty dang cool. Now, I've actually gotten to see some nebula glow shaders on the other characters that I created. Those were pretty badass as well. Um, but, uh, you can only carry up to 14 shaders for the ship and the ghost. And as the normal from Destiny 1, you can carry up to 9 emotes and emblems and uh, weapons and armor uh, at a time. As far as how many exotics you can equip at a time, there's no one except for the Bungie dev team that actually knows anything about that. Uh, let me see, make sure I've got everything else covered. Um, we haven't seen many error codes as far as uh, of late that actually really affect Xbox. They're mainly over on PlayStation, those uh, poor guys have been uh, completely overwhelmed by them. The planet in the background is called Nessus and is where the Inverted Spire uh, demo from E3 takes place, as well as uh, the E3 demo upgrade, which I am currently playing here, which they're calling a beta, which, again, I want to remind everyone, this is not a beta, because a beta would be part of a finished product. This beta build here that we're all playing is like three or four months old so there's no way it's from the finished product again all that's on bungie.net as part of their weekly update on july the 20th now then uh with all of the uh extra notes and features uh out of the way also to note you can't select some of these options in here these are locked there's nothing you can really do about that However, accessibility, uh, HUD opacity, there is a problem with HUD opacity. I forgot to mention that. Uh, I don't know what's the deal with that. Um, I'm really not sure how to describe how that's broken because it's a newer thing that's just come up in the Bungie world that has been complained about. So I don't really know a lot of details about that. I know that it's more so on Bungie.net. Uh, look controls though, uh, sensitivities button and sticks layouts are customizable now. So, uh, that's good. That's fairly simply mapped out and laid out. Um, uh, all this is actually fairly simple right through here, except for this part. Um, what was that final item on the director? Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, in the director here. Uh, you have Quick Play, Inverted Spire, and Competitive. However, this one down here that I keep avoiding is uh, actually a, a newer thing that came along. Now, right here where my cursor is, is where the farm was uh, when it was available for a limited time. But this is the pre-order section, which just simply says uh, when the game's being released and thank you for playing their E3 demo, uh, which they're calling a beta and uh, just simply uh, says, you know, thank you for being here and helping stress test the servers. Uh, but more on to uh, everything else. With that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some gameplay footage of uh, the homecoming mission uh, as a Titan, a Hunter, and a Warlock. Uh, so that'll give everyone a good chance to see what it's like to use the new subclasses as well as uh, get a chance to uh, experience uh, Destiny for its uh, full value. And uh, for those of you wondering, I did a long time ago fully pay off and pre-order the Digital Deluxe Edition for the Xbox One. And the reason I got it for the Xbox One is because Bungie is originally uh, an Xbox game-based company after they moved off the Mac computer during the original Halo game. 
as well as the Oni series that came before Halo, which I was also a part of. Um, so a lot of Bungie fans stayed with Xbox because, you know, money. So, uh, moving on here. Uh, so the other thing you guys will notice is when you go to create a new Guardian, you don't get the chance to uh, see any of the customizable options uh, unlike in the Destiny 1 beta where you could click Create New Guardian, you could select from one of these guys right here and you could get a small taste of what it was like to create your own Guardian. Well, not here in this beta. Here in the Destiny 2 E3 upgrade demo, uh, you're simply given a randomized character, race, as well as a shader, random shader to go with your ship. Uh... However, everything else stays pretty consistent, and that too will change in the full game. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and start off as playing with the uh, Titan subclass, or, or Titan class subclass. I'm getting ahead of myself, I apologize. Um, uh, beyond that, uh, let me just go through in my head here, make sure I've got everything covered. So, okay, so we've talked about Crucible and the pros and cons about Crucible. Uh, we've talked about, uh, I'm not sure if I've talked about the Inverted Spire Strike. There's really nothing wrong with it, except for it tends to give the same rewards over and over again. It's a bit more, its rewards are a bit more repetitive than Crucible. That's a con, but the rest of it's actually a whole lot of fun. Uh, we've actually, uh, me and my friends have actually been going into the inverted spire strike and instead of doing it, we've been just roaming around the patrol area, which has been a lot of fun. Uh, but beyond that, I think we've covered everything else. All that we have to do now is, uh, go over some of the pros and cons of, uh, the different characters and their new subclasses and, uh, show off the homecoming mission. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the Titan. Cora, if you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Let's get serious, people. Zavala, this is my serious face. Can't you tell? Ikora, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. And comms have been spotty for the last few hours. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Hmm. Maybe it's just the storm. Maybe it's... What are the set feeds telling us? Nothing. Well, that's good, right? No. I mean, they're not there. There are no satellites. And that's not good. Battle stations! Everyone with me, now!
All right, let's get this started. All right, so while playing on the Titan, I'm going to uh, go ahead and try and get the chance to show off uh, the Striker and the Sentinel. Here we go with another cutscene. Repeat, tower approach. This is City Hawk 723. Anyone home? No response on any channels, even the emergency frequencies. What is going on back there? Remember when I told you that you fly too fast? Forget I said that. Fly fast. All right, so this is the very first Tower mission home. of the game. Everything's gone. <clears throat> Tower, the city. All right, so this is the uh, this mission is called Homecoming, uh, uh, and again, everything. Uh, if you manage to go to E3, like if you were at the building itself in the, uh, you know, if you were actually in the building where E3 took place. The, and actually got the chance to play Destiny 2, uh, you would know that it is the exact same thing as the beta. There are no differences, no chain, uh, no uh, uh, add. Uh, they've added no extra content between uh, then and now. So uh, the beta is pretty much just uh, the E3 show off. Uh, as I've stated multiple times, which I have to because I, uh, apparently I get a lot of BS for people like, well, this game's going to be crap. Well, guess what? This isn't an actual full beta. This is just the stuff they had at E3 with a few little patch notes here and there. So as you start off uh, in Homecoming, you start off with your light from the Traveler and uh, you have all your abilities as well as your ghost and everything. You have all that still. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Um. Sorry, by. Uh. Anywho, let me go ahead and do that. That way, I don't have to worry about that. So, uh, as uh, as I was stating, so uh, oops, hold on. Big armor, bigger guns, like giant space rhinos. Smash first, ask questions never. Alright, so these guys are a little bit more beefed up than your usual Cabal, and that's because these guys are part of the Red Legion. There we go. Whoops, I didn't get the chance to show you. Uh, so, one of the things uh, that you guys will take notice of is the look of the ammo. Uh, that actually drops on the ground is a lot more pronounced than it used to be. It's much easier to look at and see. Uh, all of the guns are have already gotten all their proper upgrades, so it's not something we actually have to worry about at this point in time. So that's a good thing. We don't have to worry about leveling them up. Uh, and again, uh, it's only after this first mission that it'll be some time before you figure out how to recover your light, if at all. And that's part of the main story, so that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, there are certain weapons that the each character will start off with uniquely. That'll be uh, something pretty unique to them. Uh, uh, for example, the uh, uh, things like Does Not Compute, the Nightshade, uh, Phosphorus... 
just different things and weapons, smaller weapons like that will actually be um, a part of uh, certain characters, or at least just for here in the beta, uh, for that matter anyway. Let's see here. Did I already do the helmet? Or no. Let's see here. Mobility. Health recovery. There we go. That's a little bit better. And then health recovery. Whoops, I forgot I had my... There we go. Now here's a good chance. As you guys can see, uh, that really nasty glare that used to be around uh, weapon uh, uh, weapon ammo drops is uh, now fixed. They look a lot cooler now, I, I personally think. They're sleek. They actually come in boxed form. And they still have their glow about them to let you know the different colors. The white is for kinetic. The uh, green is for energy, and the purple is for heavies, as always. Uh, so, Kate. pretty simple. Hey, you two. Give me a sec. What's going on? Zavala's doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? I've got a date with whoever's behind this. It'll be a short date. Now, that weapon in Cade's hands was actually the Ace of Spades. Is one of two weapons that actually survives the tower attack that's being used by the Vanguard leaders. So that's another thing to take note of. Oh, and uh, here's another thing to take note of. This is uh, Eris Morn's uh, hive pot right here, as you can see. This is where... Uh, this is kind of uh, an uh, Eris Morn's uh, stash must have fallen through, but... Uh, most people don't run along here and notice this, but that is one of Eris Morin's uh, hive pots of whatever was in there. So, and then here we find Lord Shax with the raised lighter. From there, it will lead you through the hangar to the plaza. I'll take care of these people. If the Cabal want war, give them war. Alright, so, uh the raise later so here you get the chance to uh pick really up your first exotic weapon on the titan it's always going to be the sweet business kinetic weapon which again already comes fully upgraded but is not lockable using the r3 button for some reason we're not sure why uh legendaries can lock and unlock but uh exotics can't uh we haven't been able to explain that part just yet but we're not going to equip it now, and uh, we really don't need that weapon at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and keep pushing on with the mission. Alright, so one of the things that I want to cover while I'm standing right here in the hallway is on consoles, uh, uh, yes, that is correct, um, uh, talking to my broadcast, uh, one of the things to know is all consoles will be locked in at 30 frames per second as well as a higher bit rate. Uh, which is just around 3000 uh, K or just under it so it's going to be a higher resolution and will only go up to 4k for TVs that support 4k but the game will uh, release uh, so uh, the initial game of Destiny 2 is so powerful that it is almost too powerful for even the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One S to even run, period. And that's how powerfully beautiful, graphically enhanced, and strong Destiny 2 is. This was a concern for them in the developmental stage. It's only going to be on the computer version uh, for the PC, which releases in October. That'll have above 60 frames per second, as well as an above 4K resolution. <clears throat> 
Uh, any other in additional info on that can be looked up on Bungie.net as well as uh, several other different websites, uh, which I will not cover here or now at this point in time as we move on with the homecoming mission playing as the Titan. So we're going to try and get the chance to show you the Sentinel's uh, shield ability as well as uh, the Striker's multiple striking ability uh, at least once during the playthrough on this character. So this is called a tower barricade on the uh, Titan class only. As it takes damage, it shatters from the center outwards like glass, letting you know just what kind of health you can expect from that shield. Now, unlike the tower barricade, the rally barricade, which you will find in the subclass menu, is a little bit smaller, but does replenish your ammo as you crouch behind it and reload. This is extremely helpful in certain striker mission-based situations, which can, you know, determine on whether or not your entire team lives or dies just based off of having that rally barricade for your teammates or whether or not you actually have a Titan with you. Now, the Warlocks have uh, a similar ability, but have an aura field which can either uh, give you overshields and regenerate your health at high speed, or it can increase weapon damage and we'll get the chance to uh, show that off just a little bit later when we go ahead and play as the warlock uh. oh thank you uh, so as we move on there's not many other things to, to point out in this particular area except for uh, in every area you're gonna find one flag like this somewhere this is the vanguard flag out in the hangar, we will find the future war cult flag just laying around, uh, but very ne uh, neatly draped over in the uh, hangar bay. Look at the size of that thing. It must be their command ship. So again, I just want to remind everyone that this live stream was brought to you live on Twitch. So if it sounds like I'm talking to someone, I'm either talking to uh, my stream or otherwise. Because uh, again, this is an official beta review uh, uh, gameplay for YouTube on my YouTube channel at Angel Wing of Light on YouTube. Alright, so this is the very first chance during this mission that you actually get a really good chance to look around and see what actually is going on. You can see the catastrophic damage done by the Red Legion, uh, as well as uh, Lord Gaul, the leader of the Red Legion of the Cabal Army. Uh, but notice that Fellwinter's Peak up there, where Lord Saladin is, has not been blown up, burnt, or anything. So it makes me wonder what uh, is going on up there at the Iron Temple, and we have no idea really about its condition. However, we have confirmed that the Iron Temple area is going to be a PvP map thanks to IGN First on YouTube. So that'll be a pretty exciting map to actually play. Although, for Destiny 1 players, it's going to feel kind of strange uh, running around in a campaign-based social area. Uh, especially the Iron Temple. People are going <laughs> to probably be more lackadaisical than they should be when playing in PvP on that map, which is probably going to make for some interesting matchups. 
Uh, here is the future war cult flag that I was uh, telling you guys about. Just uh, a nice big F all over the tower, which I have to say is appropriate for what's going on. Um, <clears throat> uh, most of the rest of this is actually pretty uh, inaccessible at the moment. Uh, you jump up here and Ghost will actually tell you that there's no point in us going this way. I'll actually tell you to turn around. This is a dead end. We gotta get back into the fight. Yeah, uh, so this is where uh, Dead Orbit was in the original Destiny game. He's gone. <clears throat> uh, the Vanguard Armory is, of course, in flames. So there goes all your weapons and guns. Amanda Holiday has GTFO'd all over the place. And, of course, Future War Cult has a nice locked door, which obviously came in handy in their escape. Uh, so, also notice that the kiosks that were here in Destiny 1 right here and here for uh, sparrows and ships no longer there. There's not even remnants of them, although there might be in the full game uh, broken pieces of glass where they might have been, and uh, that'd be another thing. Okay, my ghost keeps tagging these cabal as Red Legion. Akora, what do you got? Rumors, mostly. An elite faction of the cabal, deathly loyal to their commander. But that is irrelevant. They are attacking the Traveler. We must get to it now. Negative. The Traveler can wait. We will protect our people at any cost. The Traveler? What is that thing they're attaching to it? Alright, this is going to be the very first social experience you'll ever uh, see. As you can see, this uh, guy's name is Salty, S Salty Snitches. Oh, by the way, rip our little play ball here. Our little play toy has been popped by the Cabal. They're truly evil. Any hoozle. So, uh, uh, this is your first real social experience and the first chance. Hey, there's a Don't Sentinel the Titan. The the e there we go. See, I didn't have to throw my shield while he's throwing his. That's nice. Uh, but I'm still going to use it anyway. Uh, now, uh, there are several different ways to use the, uh, super that's here. Although I might end up needing a Ward of Dawn bubble before too long. Oh, there's orbs of light up here. How very convenient. Oops, my bad. I accidentally created one of those, uh, Ward of Dawn bubbles, which I was so totally not trying to do. So, uh, if you guys will, uh, bear with me for another few minutes... I'll actually have to go and get more orbs of light because I just went and really screwed that up. But hey, on the bright side, I've got a nice soft bubble. Uh, now I've got to wait for more orbs of light, or for this guy to spawn more orbs of light. Ow! And that was my fault. I knew that was going to happen. Ship, it's next on the list. Watch out, Go now! The speaker. We can't lose him. Alright, here we go. Now you can use the left trigger to block and guard. You can use the left bumper to go ahead and throw that shield that ricochets a few times and guides. Or you can use the right trigger and just block and knock the crap out of these guys and be like Captain America. Which I honestly got to think this is where they got their idea from. Because uh, Sentinel Titan just reminds me of Captain America so freaking much. Uh, 
especially during the demonstrations they gave off. Oh, look, there's more ammo down there. That's going to help a lot as well. I see a couple of heavy ammo crates down there as well. As well as orbs of light all over the place. Ha ha ha. The last of the shuttles is away, but the speaker, he never made it. I'm going to look for him. I've got the plaza. Go with Ikora. Find the speaker. We're on it, Commander. More missiles! Go! Find the speaker! More drop pods! Go now! The speaker. We can't lose him. All right, so now that I'm down here, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my Striker Titan so I can get the chance to show you guys a little bit about uh, some of the ways that the Striker Titan has changed. Of course, you have all of your same grenades uh, as well as abilities. At the as You have all your same jumps. Uh, we're going to keep the tower shield up there. Uh, excuse me. Ikora! The speaker is gone. Red Legion, you will take no more from us, and you will find no mercy in me! Zavala. She'll find the speaker. We need to move on that command ship. Now head to the North Tower. I'm sending Amanda Holiday to pick you up. All right, so one of the other things here that I'll get to show off is uh, the fact that the Striker class now also comes with a free shoulder charge. All you have to do is uh, get up to speed. It doesn't matter if you're falling through the air, jumping. Uh, you can easily uh, gain speed just by uh, jumping upwards or falling downwards. And uh, you can still shoulder charge up and down that way too. So... Uh, but it's a lot better than it used to be, so you don't have to have a separate Someone subclass or selected for that at the same time. Ooh, cool. There we go. I got that heavy ammo just in time, too. Zavala, picked up that Guardian you never showed up about? Get him on that command ship, now! Hold on back there! Come on, big guy. Do something. <laughs> All right. 
right, Guardian. Time to kick him where it hurts. Let us know when the shields are down and we'll hit that ship with everything we got. Alright, so this is the second part of the homecoming mission. Uh, so this is nothing uh, special or exclusive to anything uh, at all. This is how this is supposed to be. You're gonna, of course, uh, land on the ship and now you have to uh, make your way towards the back of the ship. could help. Let me take a look. Okay, the shield generator should be at the bottom of the ship. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my scout rifle here since it does uh, more damage per uh, shot.
Oh, dang it. I misjudged. That guy's getting real annoying. Alright, here's a good chance to show off the uh, Striker Titan's true potential. Shield generator should be straight ahead. All right, there we go. <clears throat> all right, all you have to do now right. is uh, simply shoot off. out the, the fans here. Fizzle. Yes, just like that. It's 
shields are down. Zavala? Amanda, we're headed topside. Amanda! Anyone? Guardian, something's wrong. Deserve the power you were given. I am Gaul, and your light is mine. Hmm. <coughs> okay. So, that was uh, the homecoming mission for the Titan. Uh, be sure and check uh, below or in the recommended list under Angel Wing of Light to see uh, the other videos that go along with this one uh, for the homecoming mission, uh, with the hunter and the homecoming mission being played as with the warlock, including, uh, uh, the new subclasses for both the warlock and for the hunter, which is arc strider. And, uh, dang, if I remember the other one, um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been the official Destiny 2 beta review uh, video uh, by X I Speak 3 Up X on Xbox Live, I Speak 3 Up on PlayStation and Nintendo. And be sure and check out the uh, group page of Cosmic Angels on the Bungie.net website. Also, make sure and get those pre orders in because remember, this is only an E3 upgrade. And we'll see you, Starside. Thanks for watching.